Hi, my name's Christian Exotic. If a friend or a loved one gave you this link, that means you too have lost your marbles during the quarantine, decided to model yourself after the life and readings of Joe Exotic, Tiger King. Well, we won't be able to cover the economics of running an exotic zoo in this episode. We'll begin with possibly the most important and fundamental part of being Joe Exotic, which is, of course, his aesthetic. Much like the Bengali tiger, Joe Exotic's style seems wild and untamed. But after watching hours of footage, our experts have been able to identify concrete and succinct patterns in his look and aesthetic that we'll be able to share with you during this video. We'll unpack these patterns first, starting with his hair. Like Joe Dirt, Joe Exotic is sporting a mullet. Now, to master the exotic mullet, you're going to need bleach blonde hair, shaved sides, and a tasseled bang. Very important that you let your freak flag fly in the back. I'd be lying to you if I said that Joe Exotic was the only person reviving the mullet right now. Because interestingly enough, the haircut is having a re-emergence. Look at the likes of Miley Cyrus or Japanese guys. The mullet is building some momentum probably because it's been so taboo for so long. It's a haircut that nobody would have been caught wearing if you had any sense. But since it's been out of fashion, it's kind of looking a little more rebellious. Gonna have to improvise. How's that look? Next on the list is piercings. Joe is pierced head to toe with several piercings on one ear, one on the eyebrow that sometimes looks like it's like he's just pierced a part of his skin, so maybe that's an option. Nipple piercings are always essential. Just ask Governor Andrew Cuomo. While it's strongly advised by the CDC that you do not get any piercings done during the quarantine, you could always go the uh, parent trap route and do it yourself at home. Tattoos. The man's body is a canvas and the tattoos are his story. Tiger tattoo on the chest, that one checks out. Amorphous blobs, a lot of those. I don't know what's going on here. The bullet holes are a standout tattoo on his chest, which of course is a bold uh, declaration of a man's right to bear arms, and also, I assume, man's right to get shot. Ooh. What's important though in this whole tattoo situation is that all of your husbands have equally quizzical tattoos when you do group photos. That's the only thing that will matter in mastering the tattoo look. Now, finally, let's look at some fits. Let's be real. If you want that Joe Exotic look, you're gonna have to get some fits off. I'm talking thriller looks. Some outfits that look like they might be in Vet Ma's next runway. Sleeves, constantly optional. Shirts either need to be of the affliction variety or look like they were stolen from a magician. Sunglasses, always sporty, like Oakley's. Also, uh, he wears handcuffs. That's a sign that uh, Joe Exotic, like you should be, is not afraid of taking the law in his own hands. See, uh, easy peasy. You just slide these onto your belt buckle, and that says you don't, you're not kidding around. Someone is horribly mawed at the zoo? Throw an EMT jacket on. For some reason, necklaces are also very important. They can be puka bead variety, Native American garb-esque, or straight up leather choker. That one's a good choice. But possibly, what really ties all these aesthetic choices together, something you're definitely gonna need to understand in order to become Joe Exotic, is country queer. Now, I think it would be a long shot to suggest that Joe Exotic is a progressive man, but country musicians and Western style have recently been reimagined by members of the queer community, including Orville Peck and Little Nas X. What seems so natural about this marriage of classic Americana style and queerness is that there's always been a level of theatrics in Western style, 
from bedazzled jackets, rhinestone jeans, fringe shirts, big ol' hats, like this one. I mean, frankly, maybe there's always been something queer about Western style. And that is something you're gonna have to embrace if you want to be Joe Exotic. Here's the brass tacks about Joe Exotic's appeal. He's unapologetic about the way he looks, about the way he dresses, but the way he acts, or how many animals he might put in a cage. If you liked the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more episodes regarding Joe Exotic, including subjects like how to source a campaign manager from the gun section at Walmart, or husbands, teeth or no teeth. I'll see you all later.